never been to India and you want to get a little feel of what it's like, Devan is the place to be. Here in the South Asian hub, which is known as the Little India. So if you don't know anything about our culture, I think this is the best place to visit because you'll get a taste of the food, the clothing, you know, the groceries, everything. Our first stop is one of the oldest Zabir Halal meat butchers, a family-run business whose owner wanted to provide traditional ingredients to his community. It's been stored for, since 1982. It's one of the oldest stores, old divan. My uncle is the owner. Since he started the business, he worked hard and he not care about the, the, how much he makes money as much he can care about serving the community. Since it was that time, it was very hard to find to be a halal meat. Back in the 90s, I would say there was only about two or three blocks of South Asian stores, uh, primarily on this side of Devon where we are. And over the years, I would say right now it's expanded to about 13 to 15 blocks. And we can't forget about all the great food. The Patel family owns one of the longest running vegetarian restaurants in Chicago, Annapurna. Hey, another popular dish is our dosa, our masala dosa. It's basically an Indian crepe. It's a rice lentil that goes in and you can either eat plain with some uh, soup on the side, which is called sambar, and some coconut chutney. Uh, otherwise, you can have it filled with some masala, which is potato filling, potato and onion filling inside. The Patel family also owns one of the biggest South Asian designer showrooms in the country. Our clothing is very unique. Uh, our fab fabrics are very rich. Uh, South Asian clo uh, clothing is known for its intricate embroideries. And all these embroideries are all hand, hand done uh, in different, different parts of India. Our final stop on the tour is the Rohingya Cultural Center, a resource that serves the local refugee community and raises awareness for social causes. The community center, this is so important for Rohingya community. The people need help all the time. So we have also a school program. We have citizenship class, ESL class, and we have a Quran class for children. It's important to be here on this trip because uh, you have a lot of businesses that support each other, help each other. Everything's nearby here. Most uh, Indian, Pakistan, Bangladeshi, many people here, many communities. So I think that is wonderful.